Luciak turning away at the left point. Shuttles it back down low and bounced off the skate of Moriello and it comes free to the middle of the ice now and a hard pass through the middle. Here's Christian Lowe in alone, fired it up and over the goal on the glove side, but now it's tucked back into the side of the net and Merritt scores to open up the scoring in this game with 11.04 to go in the first low shot, fired it wide off the end boards and then Jackson Murray at the side of the goal didn't quit on the play and finished it off past the glove side of Katz and Merritt's taking a one to nothing lead. Knocked down by the Centennials and brought back the other way. Carried up on the right wing side. Schmidt working back in. Drop pass. Right circle scores. Oh, my. Ryan Spinale from the right <laughs> circle lets a shot go and beats Katz on the glove side. Spinale has got his fifth goal of the year. And Merritt's opened up a 2-0 lead here in the second period. That was a quick shot, too. It was a quick shot down the right side. And Merritt just opening up the ice. And Spinale finding room from the right circle and beats Katz. With a strong shot, probably have had the better of the chances when it comes to the penalty kill compared to Merritt's power play as Murray walks in, he scores. Glove side, Jackson Murray second of the game and just six seconds into the power play, Merritt strikes, it's three to nothing. Almost an identical shot too in some ways. Very similar from the right circle and I think that's gonna be the night for Justin Katz as Caden Hamming's gonna come off the bench and relieve him. He's got it again, top of the right circle. Nelson trying to find it in tight, but Merritt will be there to pick it off. Now it's Duclair in the right wing corner with it. Pushed it up the boards. Nelson tried to knock it down. Duclair to the blue line. Lafron, blah, drive, he scores! Wow. That's the first career BC Hockey League goal for Noah Lafron, blah who drives it from the midpoint and past the glove side of Johnny Hicks. And that might be the spark the Warriors need. 3-1 Merritt the lead on Laframbois' first BCHL marker. Oh, that's good for him. Yeah, the building has a little bit more energy now. Karana shot just lifted up and over the goal. Here's Reeves on the right side off a body. Dylan Brooks, a long shot, scores! Well, there you go. Ben McDonald tipped it home on the glove side of Johnny Hicks. McDonald with the marker. He's got his 14th of the year. And just like that, it's a one goal game. The Warriors have cut it to 3 2. Reeves on the right wing had that dislodged. Green did a good job to hold that puck in. Fired it to the corner. Jake Bernadette left wing half board. Dropped it off Sharoon. Back for Bernadette left wing side. Played it down, back down to the corner. Here's Sharoon left circle with it now, working the outside. Cuts to the left half board, right point. Reeves a shot, glove down, tipped in, scores! <laughs> Kylas Green at the front of the net, tips the puck in. And from 3-0 down, the Warriors tie the game with under a minute to go in the second. That is so nice. We are just talking about chances coming in bunches and... Uh... Held up there on the side of the boards. Now it's spun back around by Schmidt to the blue line. Murphy Johnson down low. Schmidt left wing, 10 seconds to go in the third. Threw it to the net, hamming the save. Big rebound in front, steered just wide. Three seconds to go. Reeves tucks his man down in the right corner, and we're going overtime. Three to three, our score here from West Kelowna. 35-21 is what the shots finish up in the third period. Christian Lowe will make his way back in. Driving wide on the left side. Lowe back behind the net. Wraparound try. Hamming slid across to make the save. 15 seconds to go in overtime. Norlin ahead. Here's Karan at center. Pushed it up. Here's Devlin carrying back in. Devlin through the middle. Tried to slide it down low. Norlin three seconds. Two. A shot. Up and over the goal and out of play. Devlin, Norlin, and Karan coming together for a great chance at the end of overtime. But we will go to a shootout. Still tied 3-3. Murray will go here for Merritt. In the third round of the shootout, still looking for a first goal score. He goes wide to the right side. Makes his way in. Cuts to the backhand. Good stop by Hamming. As Murray tried to cut to the backhand, but Hamming cut him off and made a strong stop. And now a chance to win it in the shootout for the Warriors comes on the stick of Riley Luciak. If he scores, the game's over. The Warriors push their win streak to five games. 
Lusiak with speed, cutting in left circle, fakes the move, now waits, he scores! Riley Lusiak wins it in the shootout, and the Warriors come all the way back from 3-0 down to defeat the Merritt Centennials 4-3.